I don't always tick weld that much, but when I do, I use the Prime Weld 200. <laughs> Hey everybody, if you're uh, new to this channel, this is the uh, third video in the series of making some motor mounts for the LS Swapped Audi all-wheel drive project. So this is a continuation on the two other videos I've made thus far. So I'm at the stage where I 3D printed the motor mounts based on the design I did. And then now I'm ready to make the jig in order to make the actual motor mount out of steel. So this is just a dummy motor mount used to make the jig itself. So with all the pieces ready, now is the time that I'll go ahead and prep everything, grind it, check fitment, and we'll weld it together. So here we go. All right, so pretty much what I'm trying to do here is just remove like the mill scale that's on the outside of the parts because I mean pretty much what would happen is it's possible there could be some contamination in the weld so it could affect the weld penetration so I'm just cleaning up some rough edges and trying to remove that mill scale on there so that we could get good penetration while welding it. The next thing we got to do is we're gonna go ahead and tap these holes so that the uh, um, screws here can thread in so that we can mount the 3D printed piece on there, something like that. Like this one might be a little bit undersized. I'm just applying slight downwards pressure as I'm turning this to try to keep it straight yet going in the right direction here. As long as you're patient and you don't over torque this thing, you won't break your tap. It certainly would help if I had some cutting fluid or something. But this is just mild steel, so it's pretty soft. There we go. from the uh, previous video. Don't want that on there when we're welding. So now we're gonna bevel, now we're gonna bevel the edges of here so that there's a little bit of a gap because this is gonna be butt welded together essentially. So you want a little bit of a gap so you can get good, decent penetration. It's not as important on the fixture itself, but still, it's not a bad idea. So once again, I will say, that even though I designed this part 
it's uh it's a little bit confusing because it's symmetrical so a combination of either flipping this one way or the other and then whether or not this is on this side or the other side makes it a left or a right so it's a little confusing here step is to put the countersinks into these plates so that the bolts will actually center the plates up so we'll do that We're ready to go, so we'll pack things up here and uh, head over to my dad's house so that uh, we can TIG weld these things together. All right, so I've got this all set up over at my dad's house. So I'll just remind everybody, well, in case you guys haven't watched the other videos, pretty much the premise is that this is 3D printed. It's bolted to this plate. This plate's gonna act like a fixture, and then we're gonna tack these plates together, and that'll act like the fixture to be able to weld the actual motor mounts. So, when my dad gets set up here, then we'll go. If you drop it on the floor, it's going to break. Uh, no. That's yeah, fine. No, but it's it's getting me dialed in when I do your mounts that do matter. I see. All right, should we bolt these in? The main problem is this thing's about maxed out. No, no, it's just it's a little buzz box. It's not commercial, you know, your quarter inch material. Is that thing automatically post flow? Yeah, five seconds. I turned it up, it seemed it would be a little bug. You're gonna do what to a midget? I'm gonna make this a time lapse video. 
video. Oh. Bob Ross video. Painting. <laughs> Add some commentary. Happy little welder. <laughs> All joking aside, though, I mean, this thing's done very well for uh, a value line. Let me finish this, then we got her. All right, here's the finished product. Go ahead and let this thing cool down. I think we are going to end up MIG welding this gap because it's just a little bit difficult to get to. Go ahead and get this thing sandblasted, powder coated, and should be good to go. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe.